Breaking News, Nigerians. The Yoruba Council of Elders, YCA, yesterday berated the former president, Ulishegu Obasanjo, for ordering Okeogu monarchs to stand up and sit down at an event organized by the Oyo state government in Isei, Oyo state. In a statement made available to the Guardian in Ibadan by its Secretary General Chief Oladipo Oyewole, the Yedas described the action as an open disdrain for the stores, saying that it is a, a denigration of the status of Yoruba traditional leaders and a direct affront on the people's culture, the people's norms and values. It read, it is sacrilegious to Brazilian and unabashedly radical second in command to the deity. The highly cherished heritage and cultural values of the Yoruba people must be respected by all and sundry. It is the creation of the reverend Yoruba and open appropriation of progenitors of Ududuwa, it is demeaning and belittling. As elders of the respected people of Yoruba, we have the sacred duty to protect our culture, our values, our norms and traditions. We therefore caution the Owa chief to weigh in his utterances. The elders demanded that the former president apologies to the monarchs, apologize to the monarchs, please pardon me. But another elite group, the Yoruba Rono Leadership Forum, has said Obasanjo committed no crime by asking the kings to stand and sit. Speaking with the Guardian, the president of the forum, Akin, said the forum is worried about the misinterpretation of the actions of Chief Ulishegu Obasanjo in Issei when he ordered the sitting traditional rulers to stand up for a national authority at the occasion. He said, What history has not taught to those who consider the ex president's action as a taboo because their understanding of a national authority in power is low and it cannot be undermined by traditional rulers? History gave us events of the past and the present, which explained the, the demarcation between the national and the traditional. By national authority, the society at large is expected to respect the rule of law, which gives authority to the governor to install, upgrade, pay salaries and allowances, as well as provide security as explained and guaranteed by the existing constitution of the Republic. The authority of a national government is of higher significance to the authority of the Oba or Emir. Hence, they could be dethroned or sent into exile. Those who saw Oba Sanjur's intervention at the Isain Forum should have been more circumspect in their releases of the video because the traditional leaders at the occasion realized their compound insult on the governor of the Oyo state by rising to give respect to whom respect is due. We must be guided by the traditional rules that when a king is far from his domain and without his stool and not in his palace, then both which are symbols of his authority cannot be used at the same occasion. A king is a king. If he is in his own palace or on his own stool, the kings on that occasion at his saying were invited by the governor and such a provider to all they enjoyed as traditional leaders deserve the respect from the kings. So guys, when I don't see the Wahala now, hmm? this is really conflicting. You know, 
so many Yorubas traditional leaders have been saying that Chief Olusegun Gwobasanjo insulted the Oyo monarchs by asking them to sit to stand up and sit for refusing to respect the governor of Oyo state. Chief Olusegun Gwobasanjo said, "No matter how highly you are placed as a traditional leader or whatever, the the governor is head of the state, and he deserves that respect." That when it comes in, everybody have to stand up for the office, not just because of the man. You know, some people see they look and say, "A small boy, how me when be oba?" You understand? Go stand up for this small boy. But according to Olusegun Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria, he said he deserved that respect, and even himself. He still talk and say, if he talk of age, so many of them there is senior them. And as an ex president of the country, he still deserves the respect. But so many people don't they talk say he don't commit he don't commit a, a crime or a sacrilege in the Yoruba land for asking the Yoruba monarchs to stand up and sit for for correcting them. So they say if we not just openly correct them like that, even a wife self tie will not condemn uh, the, 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 the attitude President uh, Ulisogo Abbasanjo uh, used to correct these people. Now, some group called the talk say he go do this, he go apologize, he go do this. And another group come come out again say, see, make una calm down. This man had not done anything wrong. You understand? He has done nothing wrong. So, Make this matter rest for once. So, guys, make we hear from Una. We do not think. Kindly drop your your view below the comment section, and don't forget to give us a thumbs.